distracting me when I'm serving in a Wimbledon final. Well, there's no other bigger occasion. At the Wimbledon final of 2022, the finalist Nick Kyrgios allegedly accused a fan that she is drunk and is continuously distracting him. Now the girl has decided to pull legal action against the player and had even announced that all the money she will get after winning the case will go to charity. So why did Nick Kyrgios accuse the fan? We'll talk about this in the video, but before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell so you do not miss any updates. Let's dive into the details. What exactly happened? So, what exactly happened during the match? Nick Kyrgios, who later lost the match, told the umpire, Reynard Lichtenstein, that a girl in the audience is not letting him play. He said, When I'm serving at the Wimbledon final, she's distracting me. There is no greater occasion. You didn't believe me at first, and then she did it again, nearly costing me the game. Why is she still present? She's completely drunk. What is acceptable when you speak to me in the middle of a game? When the umpire asked the player to whom he was referring because he was not sure, Nick Kyrgios said he knows exactly which one it is. It's the one with the dress and the one who looks like she had about 700 drinks. Who was the girl? The girl who was accused by the player was Anna Palouse, a Polish lawyer, who later said that she attended the event with her mother and was looking forward to the final for quite some time. After the accusation, she was escorted out before being allowed to return. The girl said she had only taken two drinks before the match and was encouraging Nick Kyrgios. She said, I only had one Pims and one Rosé. It's the temperature for me. I had no hat. I'm really sorry. About allegations. So what is the stance of the girl after the accusations? During the final, Nick Kyrgios made a reckless and completely baseless allegation against me, she stated. Not only did this cause me significant harm on the day, resulting in my temporary removal from the arena, but Mr. Kyrgios Fell's allegation was broadcast to and read by millions of people around the world, causing me and my family significant damage and distress. I am not a litigious person, but after much thought, I've concluded that I have no choice but to instruct Brett Wilson LLP to bring defamation proceedings against Mr. Kyrgios in order to clear my name. The only reasons for taking legal action are to obtain vindication and to prevent the allegation from being repeated. Anna Palace was allowed back into the stadium after she was given water. The immediate response of the girl in the aftermath of the match told The Sun that Nick Kyrgios has always said that the crowd is against him and no one in the crowd supports him. And there she, in the crowd, was trying to support him and trying to show him that not everyone hates him and was in fact encouraging him. Nick Kyrgios charges don't know about this case, but we all know that Nick Kyrgios is the all-time involved in some kind of allegations and legal proceedings. Right now, he's facing court against the allegation of assault by his ex-girlfriend. The charge against Kyrgios carries a maximum sentence of two years in prison for grabbing Pasari during a dispute. While Mr. Kyrgios is committed to addressing any and all allegations once they become clear, Taking the matter seriously does not warrant any misreading of the process Mr. Kyrgios is required to follow. Kyrgios's lawyer, Pierre Joannesson, said in a statement, Response of Nick Kyrgios On Instagram, where Kyrgios is active and has previously posted statements, he posted a picture of himself speaking with a young girl at a tennis tournament with the caption, This is why I play to all my youngsters out there. Belief in yourself. That's all from the video. Hope you all liked it. What are your thoughts on the case? Do you think that the girl is right or has Nick Kyrgios accused her for a reason? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.